gear should be just beyond this door. Rex. Snake, come on. The control room is over here. With the PAL codes, we can override the launch procedure. I thought PAL was only used for launching. It can be used for disarming, too. The brass briefed you on all this, didn't they? Yeah. So? They must have given you the PAL codes. What are they? I don't know. Didn't they give them to you? Stop playing around, Snake. We don't have time for this. Sir, I don't have the codes. Please step away from the console. Slowly. Snake! Meryl! Move away now, or the girl dies. Now, now, Ocelot. No need for the dramatics. We're all friends here, aren't we? And as friends are generous to one another, I'm certain they'll kindly give us the PAL codes without much ado. Please, think this through before doing something irrevocably stupid. Snake, I'm not sure we have much of a choice here. If you give Liquid and Ocelot the codes, we'll have a better opening once they release Meryl. No. What are you doing, Snake? Oh, pity. You really should listen to your friend. Ocelot. Two hands. I'm not here. This isn't happening. Snake, stop! Damn you to hell! How did you see through it? How did you see through my psychic dissimulation? It was flawless! Too many discrepancies. Too implausible. No, your little illusion was far from perfect. It does not matter. I've only begun to reveal the full spectrum of my abilities. You are all mere puppets in my play. Take her, for instance. Meryl! Bastard! Leave her alone! And how is any of this my fault? You're the one that's failed her. Just like you've consistently failed everyone else in your misbegotten life. Farewell to yet another loved one, Snake.
mistake. I... No! No! Snake. My god. Meryl. Missed, but just barely. She is strong. She fights my influence with all her will. But it will not be enough. saying goes if at first you don't succeed snake i can't stop myself i try no try oh, please oh. Okay, that's it. No more sadistic games. Let's finish this. Just you and me. Very well. But it will take more than stun grenades to stop me. Let's try a little telekinesis, shall we? <laughs> Your reflexes are fast, but my mind is faster. Much faster. Pain. Misery. Suffering. That's all life is. Nothing more. Do you feel the hate? The revulsion for humanity and all the futility it represents, it burns within me. <laughs> the foresight into my own fate. So in a way, I must have permitted this to happen. You're saying you wanted to die? Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps I desired it on a subconscious level. I see the confusion in your eyes. You would understand it if you knew my history. My life has been nothing but horror since the day I was born. The horrors I've endured. The horrors I've witnessed. The horrors I've caused. It's just too much for one soul to endure. You know, we're not so different, you and I. I thank you for releasing me. It wasn't my intention. Nevertheless, it was necessary. 
To access the path to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you'll have to go through that hidden door behind the bookcase. I will open it. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I used my abilities to help someone. It's strange. Such a nostalgic feeling. This situation has become untenable, Liquid. We can no longer wait for Mantis. We must pursue another means of launching. You really must learn patience, Ocelot. I'd hoped your miserable failure interrogating the DARPA chief would have taught you that. Mantis will scoop the PAL codes out of Snake Skull like the innards of a pumpkin. We will have what we need soon enough. No, we must pursue an alternate course of action. Mantis is dead. It may have been Fox Die, but I can't be sure. Solid Snake. Damn him! Very well. Inform Wolf that her mission is a go. I want him taken down. And if she fails to... Snake has gotten this far only because I allowed him to. He will not escape. Not this time. You're lucky you're such a bad shot, Meryl. It's just a scratch. We should get moving. Snake, I'm so sorry. Why? What do you mean? How could I let Mantis control me like that? Never doubt yourself. Let it make you stronger. Learn from it. What about you? Are you- I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Did you hear that? Sounded like wolves. Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. I'll take point. Follow me. Down this hallway. Meryl, wait! Come on, Snake. We're losing time. Stop! Don't move, Meryl. Keep perfectly still. What? Oh, no. Meryl! Ah! Snake! Shh, Meryl, save your strength. Damn it! Looks like a lone sniper. Usually there'd be two of them to pin us down in a crossfire. I guess you should have let me shoot myself after all. Would have saved you a lot of trouble. My gun. I think I can reach it. Meryl, don't move! I promised I wouldn't slow you down. I was a fool. Leave me, Snake. I'll just get us both killed. Meryl, stop. I will get you out of this. Snake, the sniper is trying to use Meryl to lure you out. Don't do it. Yeah, I kind of figured that out for myself. It has to be Foxhound's top sharpshooter, Sniper Wolf. I know her. She always works alone. She can lay in wait for days, even weeks. It doesn't matter to her. You'll have to act quickly. Sniper Wolf has to be on the second floor of the communications tower. Classic sniper positioning. Hang tight, Meryl. I'm taking that bitch out. Bastard! Ah, damn it! What is he doing? Running straight at me? Is he suicidal? Crazy or not, I have you now. Flash grenade! I can't see! I'm not gonna make it. She'll nail me before I can reach the tower. No more tricks, pray. This hunt is over. Ah! I'll owe you a hell of a lot more, you bitch! Thanks, Meryl. He's at the base of the tower. I don't have a shot! Green light, go! Go! Freeze! Drop your weapon! Good, now lay down with your hands behind your head! Do it now! Stop! Trust me, I won't miss at this range.
You are a fool to come here. Who dies first, you or that bitch who spoiled my hunt? I'll die after I kill you. Is that so? For myself, I always kill my prey. And until that happens, you're all I think about. <laughs> Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Take him to Liquid. <clears throat> Liquid. Liquid! I think he's awake. He's more resilient than I thought. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? You're fortunate to be alive. Until you came along, Sniper Wolf had never failed to terminate her quarry. You've come far indeed. Revolver Ocelot, Vulcan Raven, Psycho Mantis. You've defeated them all. Stupid Ninja beat me, not him. Really, it's quite an impressive resume. However, I do find it extremely aggravating to have my associates continually underestimate you. But rest assured, I won't make that mistake. How could I? I know you as well as I know myself. It was inevitable that we'd meet one day. And now that we have, it's certainly a revelation. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think? Brother! What should I call you anyway? Little brother? Big brother? Twin brother? I suppose it really doesn't matter. What is paramount is that you and I are the last surviving sons of Big Boss. We share the... Yes, what is it? Really? Then what? Those fools! Very well, Raven. I'll be right there. Washington isn't responding to our demands. They're trying to avoid any leaks about Metal Gear and their precious new nuclear weapon. Predictable. Always putting politics ahead of innocent lives. So be it. We launch in ten hours as planned. I have to make preparations. Solid Snake is all yours, Ocelot. Don't forget to get a sample of his DNA. We'll need it to correct the Genome Army mutation. I thought we needed Big Boss's DNA to cure that. Yes, but Snake's DNA will function as a temporary stopgap measure. Oh, and Ocelot... Don't screw up with him like you did with the DARPA chief. Patience, right? <laughs> exactly. Your woman is still alive. Meryl. I gave her the gift of mercy. I did it for you. Until we next meet, my handsome prey. Hmm. She always falls for her most challenging marks. You should be flattered. Flattered isn't the word I'd use. So... Metal Gear was actually designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead. Why don't you ask Campbell? The Colonel? Never mind. I'll ask the questions, carrier boy. The card key you had in your possession. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that damn key? Trick? That weasel Baker said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. What happened to Meryl? Like Wolf said, she's still alive. But it's up to you if you want her to stay that way. We're going to play a game, Solid Snake, and we'll soon find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just beg for mercy, and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. As long as it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. 
Did you know it was the French who first began using electric shocks as a means of torture? Uh, the old French fry, right? Look, why don't you cram the supervillain rhetoric and just get on with it? Cute. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. The Geneva Convention doesn't apply here. No one's coming to save you. Scared now, tough guy? You should be. Let's get started, shall we? How was that? Just a little jolt to wake you up. Don't worry. We'll get to the meat of the interrogation soon enough. But first, I think you could use a little tenderizing. Again. <laughs> Had enough? I certainly hope not. We've got a long way to go. Again. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that one looked particularly painful. Snake, are you still with me? Yeah, you're dead. I promise. Oh, much better. I like spirit in my subjects. Again! Don't you dare turn away, you feckless cow. No! Quiet! Look at the monitor. I want you to see this. Your little boyfriend is finished. Ocelot will torture him beyond the limits of human endurance. Slowly and painfully. And it's all thanks to you. No! Oh, yes. You know very well that this is all your fault. I was there, remember? I saw your stupidity firsthand. Your reckless incompetence. You made it so easy for us, Meryl. Thank you. Shut up! Shut your filthy mouth! Ha! You are weak and pathetic. In my native Kurdistan, you would be... What? What are you looking at? Who? Oh, no. Liquid. This is Wolf. We have a problem. You've had it, Snake. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> it's okay. Just say mercy and the pain will stop. Come on. I won't tell anybody. I promise. <sighs> you! No! You won't take my other arm! Stay the hell away from me! On your feet, soldier. Uh. Who? Gray Fox. Snake, I... Gone again. Oh well, at least my stuff is still here. Wolf, status. I'm en route to intercept Snake. I'll be there in three minutes. Belay that. Hold position at the underground base entrance and await my orders. I'll deal with Snake myself. Liquid out. Damn that man. How dare he interfere with my hunt. Wolf? Huh? Emmerich, what are you doing here? I thought you were taking care of the wolves. I am. I mean, I was taking care of them. But I... I was worried about you. No need. I work alone, remember? You shouldn't take so much diazepam. It's not good for you. Comes with the territory. Integral staple of a sniper's diet. So... Are you going to kill Snake? He is my prey. But why? Why do you have to? Enough! I like you. I like you very much. But I do not have to explain myself to you. I... okay. 
Here. This handkerchief belonged to my mother. She died when I was very young. Hold on to it for me. In case anything should happen. Don't! I don't want to hear it. Just be careful. That's all I ask. Farewell. Snake, how are you doing? Well, for a guy who just got electrocuted over a dozen times, peachy. So, Colonel, when exactly were you planning on telling me about the new nuclear weapon Metal Gear was supposed to launch? Oh, uh, well, um... I mean, seeing as how I'm risking my life here, I think you owe me a few straightforward answers. Look, Snake, this is obviously a complicated situation. Snake, it's Miller. I need to speak with you on a secure frequency immediately. Your lack of credibility is what makes this complicated, Colonel. Snake out. Snake, wait a sec. The line is secure, Master Miller. What's up? Listen, Snake. I've just heard some disturbing chatter originating from within our own intelligence community. You need to be extremely wary of your internal contacts from here on out. This includes Campbell, Naomi, even your own government. Yeah, I'm starting to figure that out for myself. The distortion of mission details is one thing, but I have good reason to believe the treachery goes much deeper. Deeper? What do you mean? I don't have specifics yet, but I'll get back to you as soon as I do. Watch your back. Miller out. Mei Leng. It's Snake. You there? We're all here, Snake. Listen, about the nuke. Drop it, Colonel. We'll discuss this at another time. However, considering Meryl's life is in my hands, I'll presume I can trust your core intel for the time being. I'm at the entrance to the communication tower, Mei Ling. Where to next? You need to take the elevator down to ground level. That should put you right by the entrance to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. Be careful, though. The tower should be heavily guarded. There he is! Fire at will! You're kidding! Mei Ling, I'm being pushed to the upper levels of the tower and I can't get to the elevator below. I need an alternate exit strategy. According to the base schematics, the only way out is through the roof access. Great. <sighs> okay, I'm on the tower roof. What's next? Shame. So, Snake bested you too. Strange. I thought you were incapable of underestimating your brother. Gloat all you like. Just know that I will achieve my objectives regardless of whether Snake lives or dies. Does that include Fox Die? We're running out of time. Leave Fox Die to me. Where is Snake now? He's rappelling down the tower toward our position. Good. 
I'm heading underground to complete the final preparations of Metal Gear. Can I depend on you to finish this? Of course I can. How foolish of me. Once you've killed him, join us below. This hunt ends today. Snake, it's Campbell. What the hell just happened? A noisy fly was bothering me, so I took some time out to swat it. I see a snowfield at the base of the tower. Mei Ling, what's the story? You're right on target, Snake. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base entrance is at the end of the snowfield. It looks pretty quiet down there. I don't see any imminent threat. Oh no. Snake, are you there? Otacon, this is not a good time. When is it ever a good time? Snake, Sniper Wolf is in the area. I believe she's going to ambush you. Kid, where the hell were you 10 seconds ago? I'm already taking fire from that crazy bitch. I'm on my way. I have to stop this. No, Otacon, do not. I repeat, do not enter the snowfield. I can't have Wolf bait me into the open again. Damn it, she's good. He'll be killed. The fool should never have come out here. He is... He is exactly what I need. The perfect lure for Snake. Just like that witless woman. It would be so easy to hobble him with a few surgically precise shots. Bleed him out slowly. Watch him plead desperately for his life. He will not survive this. Oh. Damn it, kid. Get your ass down. Fool! Amateur! Stop hesitating and fire! Uh. Uh. No! No! You son of a bitch! You shot her! Otacon, stop! Don't you understand? I loved her! I, I had no choice, kid. I'm sorry. There is no one to blame, Hal. Wolf, help me, Snake. We can still save her. No, it was a kill shot. And a good one, mercifully executed. This is where I will die. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. No, don't be. You showed me the face of compassion. A face I thought I would never see again. My heart had become stone these last few years. My only focus was the kill. I lost sight of the only target that matters. The only light left in my life. <sighs> She's gone. Damn it all to hell. Can't anyone find a way to bypass those PAL codes? Just what are you good for, Ocelot? I mean, other than running away like a little girl? Hmm. Insult me if you wish, Liquid. But that will not get you any closer to launching Metal Gear. We'll have to use the override keys, then. How? Snake has one of them, and the other two are still missing. Baker was the only one who knew how to make them work. What is it, Raven? Can't you see I'm busy? 
Wolf is dead. Soon Metal Gear itself will be in Snake's crosshair. Great. That's just great. Metal Gear Rex can't launch, bloody fox die is hanging over our heads, and my annoying evil twin is wreaking havoc all over the base. Is there anything I've left out? Only that Snake's full luck has finally run out. I will engage him in combat and emerge victorious! It is my destiny! Not this again. Don't worry, little girl. You'll be safe here. How dare you! Shut up, Ocelot. I've had my fill of failure this day, Raven. I will not fail. Unfortunately for you, my dear Raven, I believe in only one man's destiny. Mine. Snake still believes we have the PAL codes to launch, correct? Yes. So? Good. Then I still have one more hand to play. I'm going after Metal Gear. You'll have to take care of yourself from here on out. I understand. Don't worry, I'll be okay. Hack Baker's files to see if you can come up with anything regarding the override card keys. I'll need options soon. You got it. I'll be in touch. Hey, kid. Look, I'm... I'm sorry about Wolf. I know. Good luck. <laughs> Come in, come in. I've been expecting you. Welcome, Cossack. Our time is finally at hand. You were the one in the M1 tank. Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> that was no real battle. I was merely testing to see what kind of man you were. And you are worthy to engage me in true combat. Lucky me. Considering what's happened to your pals, are you sure you want to do this? That's good. I hear iron in your words. Now let us see if there is iron in your heart. <laughs> well met. Few have ever escaped my cannon. But be assured, I will see you dead before I fall to your damn fox die. Fox die? What the hell are you talking about? So, your government never told you. Typical. That's what you get for being a company man, Snake. Lies, betrayal, and expendability. Quite the rewarding career path. Look, are you trying to shoot me or bore me to death? Who or what is Fox Dye? <laughs> Almost had you there. Fox Dye is a next generation retrovirus programmed to target and kill specific individuals. To facilitate this, a carrier is inserted among the target population, infecting and killing them all before finally succumbing to the virus himself. All that's required is a simple injection to prime the carrier, perhaps performed during a battery of pre-mission medical tests. Any of this ring a bell, Snake? No. No! Lies! You're lying! Am I now? Fox Dye's symptoms simulate a massive heart attack followed by sudden death. Sound familiar? Remember Arms Tech President Baker? Did you think it was mere coincidence he inexplicably died shortly after meeting you? When Decoy Octopus died in the same fashion soon after, we knew something was terribly wrong. Decoy Octopus? Who? The man you thought was DARPA Chief Anderson was actually Decoy Octopus, Foxhound Master of Disguise. Liquid ordered him to assume Anderson's identity in order to trick the PAL code bypass out of you, 
But Fox Dye killed him before he could extract anything. But why all the elaborate subterfuge? Why not just get the codes from the DARPA chief himself? Because that idiot Ocelot prematurely killed Anderson right after we took over the island. So, with the chief dead, you became our priority. Octopus, Mantis, and Ocelot, they all failed miserably in trying to squeeze the codes out of you one way or another. I was beginning to think we were finished, until Liquid found another way to launch. Your brother is quite formidable, you know. A true son of Big Boss. For a long time, I've waited to test your family's metal. Huh? What's this? You want metal? But you are still nothing more than an ignorant bureaucratic part. <coughs> Always following orders blindly with no questions asked. You've lost your warrior's pride, Snake. Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages. It was all just a diversion. From the very beginning, the Pentagon used you as a vector to spread Fox Die, to kill everyone on the island that could stand in their way. <clears throat> so they could take the only thing they ever wanted in the first place. Metal Gear. Yes. All else is expendable. Including you. Oh. It, it is time. To meet my quorum. What's going on here? <gasps> Colonel, you scared me to death. I've just found out about Fox Die, Naomi. Why? Why did you do it? I'm. Not at liberty to say, Colonel. However, rest assured, I was sanctioned by a higher authority than you. It's more than that. This is personal, isn't it? I won't deny that Fox Die fulfills more than our initial objective of killing Foxhound Renegades. Solid Snake. You want him dead. I can see it in your eyes. Yes. I'll admit I felt that way once. Only now I... I'm not so sure. But why? What did Snake ever do to you? Do? That bastard ruined the only family I ever had. He destroyed my brother. Your brother? But I thought you had no relatives. No blood relatives. Or at least I don't think I have any left. I don't know. My background is confusing even to me. I was found in Zimbabwe in the early 80s, a dirty little orphan. I honestly don't remember what happened to my parents. I think I may have blocked it out of my memory. My brother always told me it's best not to dwell on tragic events I can't change. He was a young soldier when he found me near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. He was kind, but I could see in his eyes that he was haunted by something terrible. I never asked him, and he never told me. We survived that hell together, he and I. He protected me. My one connection. The only connection I have to my past. Eventually, he brought me to this land of freedom, America, where my life began anew. I had family once again. Peace. Contentment. But it wasn't meant to last. 
He was called out of the country for a mission. His final campaign before retirement. Zanzibar land. I never saw him again. Zanzibar land. Your brother was a member of Foxhound? My brother was Frank Yeager, Colonel. Gray Fox and your precious solid snake took him away from me. My god, but Frank is... The ninja. And still alive. Yes, I know. If being a mindless killing machine is what you call living. For many years, I thought the ninja died in the same lab explosion that killed his creator, Dr. Clark. But it appears he survived after all. I just don't know if any part of that thing is Frank anymore. You know Snake is innocent, Naomi. You must give him the Fox Dye vaccine. Are you finished, Dr. Hunter? Yes, sir. Who are you? This is Secretary of Defense Jim Hausman. I'm taking command of your operation, Colonel. I won't brook any interference with Operation Fox Die, not even from you. You are hereby relieved of duty pending the mission's outcome. Was that necessary? Yes. There's far too much at stake now. The President is counting on you, Dr. Hunter. Snake, I just heard about Fox Die. I'm... Sorry. Yeah. So my own government chewed me up and spit me out. Can't say I'm too surprised. I guess we're all doomed now. Relax, kid. It's called Fox Die, not Geek Die. Besides, as Metal Gear's chief engineer, they may want you around for the occasional oil change. At any rate, crying over it won't do anybody any good. There's far more at stake here than a few bloodthirsty bureaucrats. What's the word on Baker's override keys? Almost have it. I'm hacking his files right now. Damn. What is it? Metal Gear Rex. You make one hell of a doomsday device, kid. Thanks. I think. I see Liquid and Ocelot in the control room. I'm going in closer for a listen. Get back to me when you have something on those keys. Roger. Otacon out. I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch anytime. Excellent. Once our little demonstration is over, we'll offer Metal Gear prototypes to every rogue state and terrorist faction that can afford them. In the end, the President will be forced to give us everything we need. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. I'm also including the Fox Die vaccine in our demands. Fox Die. It killed Octopus and Baker. But there seems to be no rhyme or reason to when it actually strikes. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore that mask. Wolf wasn't stricken either. Perhaps due to those drugs she took. So why are we unaffected? A bug in the virus's programming, perhaps? Hard to say. But Snake is still our canary in the coma. So long as he's alive, we should have time. Hunter created Fox Die, so she must have the cure. Hunter? So it was Naomi. They'll hand over the vaccine. We'll give them one hour to comply before we launch. The bad guys are gone, Otacon. So what do I do about the two other override keys? Well, you're not gonna believe this, but you already have them. Otacon, what the hell are you talking about? That card key you have is made of a shape memory alloy, a material that changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. The first key operates at room temperature, so start with that one. PAL code number one confirmed. Awaiting PAL code number two. Okay, 
That takes care of pal code number one. How the hell do I freeze and heat the key for the other two codes? I don't know, but you gotta find a way, and soon. Never mind. Looks like Baker discreetly built the means into the control room's piping. Snake, it's Master Miller. If you're here to tell me about Naomi, Fox Die, and impending death, I already know. Pal code number two confirmed. Awaiting pal code number three. Unfortunately, the good doctor's involvement just scratches the surface. Remember I told you the treachery goes much deeper? Deeper? Someone ordered her to infect me with Fox Die? Campbell? No. Campbell's entirely out of the loop. You were set up by Secretary of Defense Jim Hausman. This whole operation is his ball game. What? I'm afraid so. He'll stop at nothing to acquire the Metal Gear Rex prototype. But if someone like Hausman is involved, that means... This thing goes all the way to the top. That's right. Snake, we're out of options. If the U.S. government can't have Metal Gear, they'll blow Shadow Moses off the face of the Earth. You have to override the launch. Now. Almost there. Pal code number three confirmed. Pal code entry complete. Detonation code activated. What? Launch preparations complete. No! Finally. Thank you, Snake. We really couldn't have activated the warhead without you. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master Miller, why? You see, Snake, we never actually had the PAL codes, and simply couldn't figure out how to launch the nuclear device. Thankfully, you came along and did it for us. Warning, Metal Gear launch sequence activated. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you see? With no launch to override, that key's only function is to input the detonation code. <laughs> oh, I thank you for being such a gullible pawn. Really, I do. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to trick me into activating the warhead? You didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? You're not Master Miller. Just who the hell are you? Greetings and farewell, brother! Liquid! This game is over, Snake! Bow down before the awesome might of Metal Gear Rex! Liquid! You son of a- Careful, Snake! That epithet applies to you as well! So, you killed Master Miller and stole his identity. I should blow your head off right now! Snake, for shame. I can't believe you'd point a weapon at your own brother. What does it matter? We're all dead anyway. Ah, you refer to Fox Die? Hmm, possibly. I'm not sure exactly how the Hunter Woman programmed the virus. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But not ordinary twins. We're linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. In the early 70s, a group of scientists were charged with creating the most powerful soldier who ever lived. But to do so, they needed a genetic master mold to work from. A foundation of perfection. A man whose military mind and combat abilities were unparalleled throughout the world. Big boss. Yes, but whereas you got all the old man's dominant genes, I was stuck with the flawed recessive ones. Everything was done at my expense so that you could become the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist at all is so they could create you. Can you comprehend what it's like to know that you're genetic garbage since the day you were born? But, strangely enough, I'm the one Father chose. So, that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love.